Hello world, I'm Ben Dan, and nice to meet you, got some questions, I'm wondering, can you answer like... What's up YouTube, Dan and welcome to a live episode of the Realm de Karima series and today we have episode, I think we're on episode number 9 and we're actually really near to the transfer window as well so you can start uh, leaving your suggestions for players. So in today's episode we've actually got two games, I think maybe three and they're actually really big games. The first one is actually uh, up against uh, Seville and the second one is going to be up against AC Milan in the Champions League so it should be a great episode. So first of all here is the league table and you can see that Real Betis is actually top and we actually lost them in the last episode 3-2, I just can't believe it, I'm just still trying to get over over it and the absolutely ridiculous scoreline actually three to in the end I actually really thought I actually deserved the win but we're actually going to go into the first game of today's episode and hopefully we can uh, pick up the win right I'm seeing the run there from Gundogan is he going to get this yes it is what a pass that was from Ronaldo and how has he missed that just one thing I want to mention is I'm actually using it a 4-1-4-1 formation like Bayern Munich do it in real life so I think it's going to be winning a winning formation actually going to try out new formations over the next couple of episodes you can see there what a fantastic pass that was uh, from Ronaldo and a shame it was actually Carvey on the end of that if it was someone like maybe Balotelli or Bale or someone like that maybe that would have gone in but hopefully we can get the first goal of the game go on Ronaldo Right, Ronaldo's got the pace. Can he put it into the box? Is this Bale? Yes, it, yes, it is. And that is a fantastic finish into the back of the net. And that reminds me of the question of the day uh, for today's episode. So the question of the day is going to be, who do you think will win the World Cup in 2014? So uh, for me, it would probably be either Brazil or Spain. And if I was forced into picking one, it would probably be, uh, be Brazil. So leave that in the comment section below. Just because they have so much atmosphere, just think about how many supporters they'll have uh, supporting Brazil, obviously, and how loud it will be when they actually score goals and that kind of thing. It would be absolutely insane. I need to concentrate, don't I? Yeah, so that's the question of the day for today's episode. Quite an interesting question, and I'm actually happy to reply to all your comments as per usual. I like seeing what you guys think about everything and seeing different opinions as well. So we've actually got ourselves another chance here. Gund Gundogan off his heel. That was really unlucky. Right, go on, Fabio Control. Control is actually on this left-hand side. Right to the end. Come on, Bale. Finish that. Is he going to head that in? No, he's nice. He's just not big enough, is he? Into the ball again. Isco's going to finish that. What a fantastic header. Sorry, my mistake. Wilshire there. And that is absolutely fantastic header. We have been so good in this first half. And like kind of recovering after that 3-2 loss up against Real Betis in the last episode. If you haven't missed that or if you haven't uh, watched it yet, go and check it out. It's an absolutely amazing game. And just to kind of remind you, in today's episode, I've also got the fourth game of the Champions League up against AC Milan as well. So look forward to that towards the end of today's episode. Alright guys, so actually at half time now you can see we're actually winning 2-0 at the moment. Uh, Gareth Bale and Jack Wilshire were the goal scorers. It's been a really good first half, really felt comfortable with this team as well. And yeah, so we're actually going to make a couple of substitutions as we do actually have that, obviously, that Champions League game up against AC Milan. So I do actually think this formation is absolutely insane, really enjoyed it so far. And it kind of shows because we're actually beating Seville, obviously, I think in third in the league in the moment. So that shows that we're actually having a really good performance so far. So actually going to make a couple of substitutions. So first of all, Lukaku is going to come on uh, for Ronaldo. Ronaldo is going to move uh, off. Obviously, he's not going to be on the pitch. Uh, Bale is going to swap around with Shaqiri. And also having a look at the fitness as well. I think it looks all right for now. So just having a look. So Gundogan maybe is going to come off and we're actually going to bring on uh, Chabi Alonso for the end of the game. So hopefully we can even add to this lead. It's been absolutely insane so far. Let's go into uh, the second half. Look at the space once Carvio has actually gone up the pitch. Thankfully, we've got Case Mirror who... <laughs> How is that not? Oh, it's a free kick. Look at that challenge. Absolutely fantastic challenge there from Case Mirror doing what he's built to. And they've actually got themselves a free kick here. Is it going to go in? It's just wide there. That was their first chance of the game. And Lucky actually went uh, far the post. Come on, Carvio. Case Mirror. Oh my god, they got themselves into good position here. Look at that tackle. Ramos is an absolute beast, isn't he? Right, let's get this. Oh, come on, Ramos. Oh, Chabi Alonso, sorry. We just can't not get the ball away. Right, let's not panic. Oh my god, I put it right to him. Oh, it's come off Fabio Contreras. I do not believe that. And if they do get back into this game, I'll be so livid. Because I've absolutely dominated this game. And I've kind of, to be honest, kind of not played as well in the second half. That's because I brought off players like Ronaldo. But, like, anyway, I've actually dominated, like, throughout the game. And I really think I deserve to win this game. But hopefully I can keep this lead until the end of the game. Oh, yes, finally. So we actually win the game. Finally a win. It feels like ages since we last won the game. And you can see there we actually won the game 2-0, or 2-1, sorry. And you can see there uh, Bale and Wilshire with the goal scores for us. And I think that's Boshi that actually scored the goal uh, for Seville, maybe Botti or something like that. So we're actually going into our second game of today's episode. Up against, uh, I think it's up against AC Milan, but before that, we're actually going to show you the squad report. All right, guys, so here is the squad report before we go into our next game of the episode up against AC Milan. So first of all, here is Casillas. He's actually gone down minus one in sprint speed, uh, balance, stamina, and agility, jumping, and strength. So that's quite worrying 
doing, in my opinion. Uh, we've got Carvio has actually gone up to an 80. I don't know what that expl explanation uh, mark actually means. Exp exclamation mark, sorry. Uh, yeah, so he's actually gone up plus one. He's actually worth seven million as well. Uh, we've got Varane has actually gone up plus one. Unhappy for some reason. I don't know why. Let's have a look at uh, why he actually is. Feels like he's being underpaid. And I can't actually offer him a contract either, so that's a bit, a bit harsh there. So actually going to back out. Oh, just it's so laggy, these menus. But yeah, so back into the squad report. So, first of all, here is Sergio Ramos actually stayed the same. He's still 86, not too bad. And look at those stats. His physical stats are absolutely insane. Um, Marcelo is still an 83. Okay, Smith has gone up plus one. Jack Walsh is plus two to an 84. Only worth 16 million, though. I just think he's worth a lot more than that. Uh, Shaku has actually gone up plus one as well. Two and 81, actually worth 8.5 million. Um, Mario Ghost has gone up plus one to an 88, now worth 34.5 million. And you can see his morale is actually content, so it seems like he's not... He's not on that. He's not unhappy, but he's not happy at the same time. So kind of have to think about maybe bring, uh, maybe getting him a new a new contract or something like that. So and next of all here we have actually Ronaldo, actually still 92 rated and still worth 43.5 uh, million. Uh, Gareth Bale still 89. Uh, Diego Lopez is really unhappy, but I don't care. He can stay on the bench for as long as he wants. Arbelo is actually minus one. Uh, Chavi Lance is minus one, and we've got a couple of other players like Isco's actually gone up plus one. Um, so Romelu Lukaku stayed 79, I don't know how he is, uh, still 79 because he's been probably the player of the season so far. Um, Mangala is still 80, oh, he's actually 82 plus 1. Um, let's have a quick look down here. Balotelli is still 88. Um, I think that's about it for now, but we're actually going to go into our second game of today's episode up against AC Milan. Right, so into our second game of today's episode, it's going to be a Champions League game up against AC Milan, and I always love playing at the Sun Series, so this is going to be an absolutely amazing game. We're going to have a look at the league table at the moment, or the uh, whatever group stage uh, table. So here's the league table. So Liverpool actually top with seven points, wins a uh, uh, second position with six points. I just don't understand why it goes so short, or why that uh, cutscene or that high, uh, that little graphic is so short, because it should last a lot longer. I will probably show you the league table uh, towards the end of today's episode. There's a team actually leaving up players like El Shawari and Kaka as well and we're actually obviously taking Balotelli off them so let's go into the game now and hopefully we can get the win right Ronaldo look at the pace just straight off the bat there into the box gone Balotelli oh it's just wide oh my god that would have been an absolutely fantastic goal especially against his old club as well that would have been absolutely amazing and I probably would have celebrated that as well because that was an absolutely insane shot and nearly into the back of the net Balotelli's throw on goal here come on come on Balotelli lift foot can he finish it? Oh, great save from Akinfeev. And he's really close to scoring. He's the most likely player uh, to score on the pitch. He's, he actually wants the ball again. Go on, Balotelli. Oh, unlucky there. What is he doing? Oh, my God. <sighs> Jesus Christ. What was he doing there? Let's get a replay of that. What was he doing there? All right, let's have a look at this again. So let's just hide this. And, yeah, so what was Diego Lopez doing here? Exactly. I don't know why I've even got him on the pitch. I think the assistant manager, I uh, thought he was good enough to play. But look at that. Nearly led to a goal. And we're actually really near the half-time, so I'll see you at the half-time break. What is he doing around there? Is he going to finish that? Yes, he is. Oh, my God. I think the half should have finished like 10 minutes ago. But Pazzini actually gets the goal there uh, to make it 1-0. Really disappointed in my performance in this first half. Ronaldo hasn't done too much in this first half, neither is Balotelli, to, uh, to be honest. And let's see if we can get a goal in the second half, hopefully. Right, those 45 minutes seem to go on for absolutely ages, so we're actually going to make a couple of substitutions as well as probably changing the formation as well. If Imagine if I actually scored that, that's absolutely insane. Probably would have been goal of the season right there. Uh, so we're actually going to swap to the 4, I think it's 4-1-3-2 or something like that. And yeah, I think it seemed to work in the last episode. So we're actually going to uh, probably bring on someone like Lukaku, maybe uh, use Ronaldo as a striker for now. Uh, so what we're going to do, bring on Goetz as left mid, Isco and uh, Gundogan as, let's have a think. So Gundogan is going to be our centre mid, uh, Kadir is going to be our CDM. Isco, I don't think, I'm not really comfortable with Isco on the right midfield uh, position, so I think it's time we actually brought on Costa, so I'm actually going to do that, so actually going to bring off Isco, going to bring on, uh, what's his name, Costa, and uh, Ronaldo's going to play as our left midfielder, and yes, yeah, so I think that's how we're going to go into the second half, just a quick look at the team there, and yeah, that looks really good, so Costa, his first game back uh, since his injury, so let's go into the second half now, and hopefully we can get the win. Oh, what a ball that is, he's going to finish that, go on, oh my god, I've actually slimmed in there, how did he not finish that, did he want all day to finish that? And we just about got away with that. So, been a bit of a bad start to the second half there. You can see nearly scoring there. But Milan don't deserve to be winning this game, if I'm honest. And it's been a really poor game. I don't know what they're doing there either. Is he going to finish that? Go on, Varane. Just get it clear. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is too hard to defend this. Oh, my God. Ben's with the chance here. Is he going to shoot? No, he's not. They just keep passing it around. Montelio has been so good for them as well. And just so far this game, just haven't really played too well. And yeah, so Kaka's actually coming on for Emanuelsson as well, just to make it even worse uh, for us. So we're actually going to have to defend uh, this corner kick. Go on, go on, get it away. Yes, all right, let's kick this away out to uh, Costa. 
All right, guys, so in the, the game now, it, it's kind of th weird thinking about it. So we actually won our first two games of the Champions League. Then we actually lost our second two games. So we've kind of gone, kind of gone for kind of like almost a qualification to actually back in the mix. And we're actually in third position in the Champions League as well. So we're actually going to have to win our next game. I think it's up against Stade Liège and maybe even Liverpool. So if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, remember to leave a like. Can we reach maybe 40 likes? That would be absolutely insane. And like I say, massive thank you for supporting the series so far. And I really do appreciate it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.